everybody this is morgan iverson with fourth wall productions and this is the super shorts podcast if you haven't heard about us you will soon make sure you listen to this make sure you share it for us you know on instagram facebook twitter everywhere that you go uh to express yourself through social media we want to get the word out and we want people to enjoy these stories and uh we're looking forward to telling another one today so uh, that's what i'm here for uh again my name is morgan iverson this short story is going to be uh, about a, a villain I have uh, that's coming out in my next comic uh, named The Preacher. Uh, I have Lumberjacks number one available now on fourth wall, www.fourthwallpros.com. We also have a www.shortfusemediagroup.com. And you can just search Lumberjacks. Uh, we also have Ace Blade up there, Fourth Wall Productions, and Short Fuse. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Fourth Wall Productions is a media production company. We're working on comics, and we also have novels, uh, short films. We do it all. Uh, we're learning slowly, slowly but surely. And this is just one of the avenues that we wanted to take to help people get more familiar with us as a company and uh, for look, to look for us with conventions and short stories and short films and things that we're working on. So, uh, again, this this short, super short is The Preacher, um, and I hope you enjoy it. Can I get an amen? Ha! The Preacher said as his assistant dabbed the sweat from his brow from the gold-plated podium he was standing behind. Yeah, you see, the biggest reason some of y'all don't get blessed he said, taking a breath and sipping his perfectly chilled ice water. It's because you don't love your leaders like you should. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. See, and you're supposed to give honor where honor is due. The preacher continued as the organist made the music well and swell with the rift that matched the preacher's cadence. Some of y'all worried about you and your crew. Yet when I call on you which for what I need you to do, you throw up your hands and tell me you all through. See, see. The preacher said as his assistant dabbed his brow and cries out, Woo, you preacher, pastor, go ahead, go ahead. But see, let me tell you what you need to do so God, God can go out and bless you and see you through. Come on up to the altar because his rent is due and don't try to withhold the blessing because he sees that too. The preacher said, belt into this congregation as they jumped up in the air as raucous praise towards their leader. They all fouled in line. Thousands upon thousands as the music welled and swelled. The place was seemingly catching fire as the preacher continued to speak. His minister of defense stood around about him with a militancy of wolves protecting the alpha male. Watching closely as each member gave their offering and danced back to their seats as the service ended, the charade ended, and the preacher called his ministers over to him. How much should we collect tonight? And it better not be less than 10 million, the preacher said as he sternly cut his eyes at his armor bearer. There to tend to his every whim. At the moment, it was removing his master's robe. The ministers reported quickly, as if one person. Fifteen million, sir, as they stretched the offering place towards their leader. Good, good. The flock is required to feed and clothe their shepherd, the preacher said as he was being clothed by the armor bearer as he inspected the envelopes in each offering plate. After inspecting, his face suddenly scowled and his voice became high-pitched. What does this Sister Johnson put in here? I know for a fact her W-2 had her pegged for a Fortune 500 company, the preacher said, removing his armor bearer's hands and from his shirt and forcefully shoving the envelope into his closest minister's chest. Bring her to me, the preacher said somewhat nonchalantly as he beckoned with his hand, telling his armor bearer it was time for him to finish dressing him now. A few minutes passed as the armor bearer finished clothing the preacher and they stood continuing to count the money awaiting Sister Johnson's presence. The double doors to the preacher's elaborate office wing swung open and Sister Johnson walked with her head held high. Her clothes were lightly disheveled as if she'd been grabbed by force. She made her way with a muscular and militant minister at her side down the long red walkway before the preacher's silk throne looking chair. The preacher now sitting way, waited for her to get to the end of the aisle and then put out his hand for her to sit. Did you enjoy the service, Sister Johnson? He asked as she, as she sat down. Oh, yes. Yes, Pastor, you preached the paint off the walls tonight, she said, enthused but unable to mask the nerves, almost wincing in her smile. That's great. Awesome, Sister Johnson. Just awesome. My ministers noted that there was a discrepancy you're giving tonight. Is there something that you need to tell me? The preacher asked, leaning forward with his hands clasped in one another, resting on the table. Sister Johnson squirmed, squirmed as the sweat beads formed on top of her head. 
She prepared to answer with her legs crossed nervously. Before she could, the preacher continued. Haven't I been good to you, Sister Johnson? I pray for you, give you a good word, and this is the thanks I get? These things ought not be, the preacher said, staring her eye to eye with and watching her squirm. As he continued, two gargantuan men walked through the double doors with her husband between them bloody. Her eyes widened in horror and confusion as her husband's limp body drug across the floor. The two men dragging him the length of the carpet dropped him at her feet before stepping up to the altar where the preacher was sitting. They took their places at his left and his right hand, respectively. Now, Sister Johnson, you know how important the ministry is, don't you? We discussed this before, how important your contribution, I mean, you are to the ministry. Your husband seems to have run into my deacons by mistake, like the one that you made here tonight. The couple that lied to Peter died at his feet and got carried out. It seems you fulfilled the scriptures tonight, Sister Johnson. Rejoice, the preacher said, beckoning his deacons to fulfill the scriptures. As the ministers enclosed around her and her husband, the preacher turned to his armor bearer, pointing to his watch. 7 p.m., Pastor, the armor bearer said as the preacher got up and started to rush out of the door. The kingdom ain't going to build itself. Come on, we got to go catch this flight. The preacher said as there was a concert of fist to skin and screaming in the background as he walked out of the door. You all better not stain my carpet, Pastor Crawford said as the door silently closed behind them, regardless of the chaos going on inside. And that's the end of the first short story that I have uh, for you guys, Morgan Iverson, the preacher uh, for Fourth Wall Productions. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look forward to reading another one for you guys next week. Uh, we'll be posting on Thursday morning, 8 a.m. You know, so if you enjoyed the story, uh, you know, make sure that you follow us, share, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we really uh, love doing these. I know I do. Um, I love coming up with villains. Uh, I'm a villains person. <laughs> um, and I, I, of course, I have some for heroes, too. The one I think I'm going to do next week is going to be a villain, too, though. Uh, and I think y'all will enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, until then, y'all may, like I said, make sure you follow us on Facebook at Morgan Iverson and Danny Quick. Uh, Instagram, you can follow the Ace Blade on Instagram or Lumberjacks. And the, the E is instead of their E in Lumberjacks, it's a three. And then you can also follow us at The Ace Blade on Twitter and The Lumberjacks on Twitter. Uh, those are our two Twitter handles. And you can also follow us at Fourth Wall Productions on both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, or you can just go to www.fourthwallpros.com and that has all of our social media sites up there. So you, it's probably easier for you to follow us there. But we really appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, look forward to you next week. All right, bye.